In recent weeks, Russia has begun using special drones designed to detect and photograph Ukrainian air defense systems. The two new types of drones that occupation forces have used in five attacks in the past two to three weeks are made of materials such as foam and plywood, military intelligence spokesman Andriy Cherniak told Reuters. One type is equipped with a camera and a SIM card from a Ukrainian mobile operator to send images to Russian military personnel. They are determining where our mobile groups are located, where the machine guns are that they can destroy. They are trying to get an idea of where all our air defense systems are located, Cherniak said. This shows that Russia is seeking to adapt its tactics and test new technologies to gain an advantage during daily missile and drone strikes on Ukrainian cities and infrastructure, the publication notes. According to Cherniak, the new Russian drones with cameras do not carry explosives but are very similar to the regular Shahed and fly in groups. The second new type of drone does not contain explosives or only a small charge and is used as bait, he added. But since it is virtually indistinguishable from a conventional attack drone from the ground, it still needs to be shot down. However, this could potentially give away the location of Ukraine's air defense systems. Cherniak says the new drones will likely cost as little as $10,000 each, making them much cheaper to produce than the air defense missiles that must be used to shoot down the drones. The drones can also fly at an altitude of 1,000 meters, putting them out of range of machine guns and automatic rifles, he said. As reported, Ukraine will receive the Hawk air defense missile system from Spain. It is expected that by September, our country will have a fully operational installation that will enhance the air defense potential. In July, the Air Force of the Armed Forces of Ukraine showed how the Ukrainian sky is protected by the American Hawk. This weapon is designed to eliminate various missiles, but our soldiers managed to shoot down drones of the Shahed type thanks to it. Chinese state media reports Typhoon Gamey has made landfall in China's southeastern Fujian province after crossing Taiwan and sending heavy rains into the Philippines that sank at least one ship and left more than 20 dead. China's CCTV news channel reported that Gamey made landfall in Fujian province and is expected to unleash heavy rains over much of China as it heads to the northwest. State news agency Xinhua reported Chinese officials said they had evacuated more than 150,000 people in the province ahead of the storm. Authorities evacuated nearly 300,000 people and suspended public transport across eastern China. Officials in Taiwan said businesses and schools were closed across much of northern Taiwan for a second day Thursday after Gamey, the strongest storm to hit the island in eight years, swept through, flooding streets, knocking out power and leaving three people dead and hundreds injured. Video posted on social media showed streets in the capital turned into rivers, with shops flooded and water reaching over the wheels of parked cars. Taiwan's meteorological office said several areas of the island received more than 100 centimeters of rainfall between Wednesday night and midday Thursday. China is enduring a summer of extreme weather, with heavy rains across the east and south coming as much of the north has sweltered under successive heat waves. They have relocated more than 290,000 people in Fujian and shut down public transport, offices, schools and markets in some cities.